All right, it's 3.40 and uh, my day is going well. At least I think it is. I'm gonna have to run out and get my kids here shortly, but I have time. So I have my third video set to go to for today and I am at about a week behind. So I've got the 26th uploading now and it's the fourth. Let's see, I worked on cleaning up John's room a little bit basically sorting out chores for him to do later rather than actually handling it myself just making it more manageable for him to do i watched the first episode of the dropout which i've been meaning to watch for some time and just haven't gotten in, gotten to it i'm getting stuff off my phone i uh, played animal crossing for a while i feel like i accomplished a lot today given the fact that my Left hand is becoming more uncooperative. I had a lot of coffee today. Makes it easier for me, I think. It uh, it was it was pretty warm this morning. We had to run the air conditioner on the way to school. That's that's pretty indicative of the kind of weather we are just going into head first. And uh, it's 87 degrees out right now, which is 30 and a half degrees Celsius or 30.5 degrees Celsius. I'm learning. I'm learning a Google search link immediately follow weather with translate that temperature into Celsius for me. If I do it enough times, it might become natural. So um, that that would be neat. I'd like to be able to, you know, just shift right over. I feel like my brain is stuck on not even so much in go mode as just constantly thinking. And it's actually really tiresome. I listened to the first half of a two-parter um, Non-Explained Mysteries podcast on the supposed uh, UFO crash in Aurora, Texas back in the 1800s. Although everything I've ever heard on that has uh, boiled down to it was faked. I'm a little bit stressed out. And I think that's stemming from the amount of time it's taking um, to get any answers about my hand, even though I've been in this hurry up and wait situation before. So I'm going to keep trying to distract myself. And, you know, I have nothing going on tomorrow, so maybe that'll be part of it. Maybe I'll just do something to stay busy. I can think of some things I need to get done, and I can think of some things I just want to get out there and do. Um, If I don't have the, uh, the function to be driving around all day, maybe I'll do another memes video. Memes I've saved in my phone. I've got... Uh, I got a really good one that I, I really, <laughs> I pulled this one today and I just, I saw this and I lost it. It was, uh, Dune plus keeping up appearances. I, I didn't think they would be able to pull off something like that. That was, you know, they say that the Avengers was the, the most ambitious crossover ever. The Supernatural fans were like, hold my beer and Scooby natural But then this, this happened. Yeah, yeah, so my third memes video is absolutely going to feature this heavily. Alright, it is a couple of minutes before 8 o'clock, and I'm headed out to go get Bruce from his little friend's house. I dropped him off there earlier with the switch. I guess I already had turn with it today, so it's whatever. If we get a little bit further into the year, he'll He'll either be staying later because it won't be a school night, or he'll be walking back because it'll still be light outside. It's not really showing, but uh, the street lights are on, so he's supposed to get picked up. My hand is bugging me. Not having an easy time of it. So I'm getting some ideas. I really want to make like a disturbing and unsettling um, video. 
intentionally for creepy good fun. I'm, I'm pitching some ideas around my own brain and seeing what the many, many facets of my personality think. I think I can make a creepy video. I, I think I can make it work. Just for fun. I'm probably going to go ahead and do another meme video first though because my meme folder is filling up. Alright, I gotta let Bruce know that I'm here. That didn't take very long. Okay, it's 8.18 and I guess I've never really actually addressed this on here. But I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I hate tables. <laughs> um... I, I hate eating at tables. I, I'm really, really, really comfortable sitting on the floor when I eat, and that's usually why I'm in here, away from people, decompressing and watching TV, but also sitting on the floor. Occasionally, if it's particularly messy, then just for practicality's sake, I use my craft table, but I don't, I don't know. I know it's weird. I recognize it's weird. And I will, of course, do otherwise to make other people comfortable, but for me, I feel no need to stick to, you know, ceremony. I'm, I'm gonna watch. What am I gonna watch? I'm gonna watch Adventure Time. Because I, I, I don't know, my, my hand hurts. I, uh, I had some issues. Operating the kitchen tongs to pick up my drumsticks. Anyway, um, yeah, my mom grilled uh, drumsticks with a sugar-free rub on the grill as a sugar-free barbecue sauce because I like to overdo things and barbecue is supposed to be extra unless it's brisket, in which case it shouldn't need it. But I would never, you know, get on somebody's case for completely ruining a good brisket, but you know what? It's subjective. Food is very subjective. There's no wrong way to do it. Unless you've done something terrible with... Yeah. Um, I was, I was mostly just snacking, picking at my plate while I was coming in here, but that is a mushroom. My mom grilled mushrooms. I've got some cucumbers to round out my plate with some tahini on it. Of course, I got tahini on it. It's uh, it's cucumber. Just the spiciness of it, which is also kind of sweet, kind of salty. It's it's just it's really good that way. Some people put tahini on watermelon and pineapple. It's it's hard to describe. It's it's more of a Mexican spicy than a curry spicy. Yeah, yeah. Um, cartoons. Oh, my wrist is all snapping. And then, with any luck, John is gonna finish cleaning up the stuff that I sorted out for his room earlier. Alrighty, it is 12.38, and it's raining. And I just turned my air conditioner off so that I could have some clear audio, and it's really not going to matter so that's no fun if i wound up in a youtube rabbit hole of asmr stuff and found this like post-apocalyptic asmr doctor checking you over thing and it's just like that was really funny but also very well done the the, the fella is a, is a talented uh I think they call themselves ASM artists right now, but yeah, almost believable. Oh, that's neat. It's uh, yeah, Cap Bailey. I, I'll have to remember to. Um, there's a wide variety of the stuff on on his profile, so that was that was neat. I looked at a couple of the other ones as well. I think I got there from was it something pickle. It's another ASMR channel. Anyway, all of that because I'm trying to relax. Because my wrist still hurts. And I'm not looking forward to I I don't think I can gonna be able to do very much tomorrow. 
Like, what kind of activities can you really get into when you're limited and then you get bonus limitation on top of being limited? And this really irritates me because I just got my injections like a week and a half ago. So my shoulders are in great shape. I could be doing all the stuff except for if it wasn't this lump in my hand. Um, so that's frustrating. Really frustrating. Anyway, uh, yeah, I still gotta get my kids to school in the morning. Maybe I'll take a nap after that. Although I really, I'm like itching to do something active. Maybe I'll tackle my craft table over here. It's kind of full of stuff currently. And the weekend is coming up. And now it's Saturday, I get to go hang up art at the church. So I definitely need to reserve any function I've got for doing that. And of course, getting my kids back and forth to school. That, that's, that's necessary. Thanks for sharing my day with me.